Hi, I'm Aaliyah and I'm from LA. So I got into music really recently. I was like three. So <laughs> I used to force my mom and my grandma and my brother to sit down and listen to me make up songs for like hours. And I'd be like, it's my performance time. Sit down, peasants. <laughs> I was three, I was three. So yeah, I started singing then. I started taking vocal lessons when I was seven. And then ever since then, I've just been living the dream. I just genuinely don't remember ever wanting to do anything else. Like I've never wanted to be, you know, scientist or a teacher or a doctor or a lawyer or anything else. I've always wanted to be a pop star. Not like a pop star, but that's the word that I would say when I was younger. They'd have us draw out what we wanted to be when we were older. Like you would just draw yourself as you wanted to be. And I went all out like Lizzie McGuire moment. Hey now, hey now, this is what dreams are made of. I wanted to be a pop star, I had the headset and everything. And I was like five years old, so I don't know how I knew it was my calling. I just genuinely, I've always been wanting to do this. My advice for younger kids would be, make sure that it's really what you want because it is a lot of, it is a lot of work. It's really tiring and you have to really be persistent and it's a game of endurance. Whoever pushes the longest is gonna be the one who becomes successful because there's so many kids trying to do it. I feel like just make sure you're passionate about it. I think if you're passionate about it, it becomes, easier in a way because at least you know that this is what you want to do at the end of the day and just stay determined and keep going because I feel like you never know what would happen if you didn't give up. So just don't give up and keep going. <laughs>So I try my best to write a song every day and of course there are days where the song isn't good. So I feel like the best way that I have gotten through creative blocks is honestly just to change my environment when I'm feeling uncreative. Like if I feel like I can't write a song in my room, I'll try writing a song, you know, in my car. I've written songs in a lot of interesting places and a lot of interesting ways. And I think also in any line of work that you want to do, if you collaborate with someone else, it brings fresh new ideas into the mix. And so that can be really helpful at times. Some goals that I have, I really want to, um, I really want to work on being, you know, a better friend and just being as kind as I can be. Because I feel like I am kind and I am giving but I feel like there's always room to improve and just work on relationships that I have. Because I am very emotional. I'm an emotional human. So sometimes I get caught up in my emotions and I just isolate myself from people. So I think just working on communicating more would be a really good personal goal. And professionally, I want to just release music. I feel like once you put like a number on it or once you put like a thing that you want to do, it becomes less about the music and more about like the superficial things that shouldn't matter. So I just want to work on making and releasing music that I like and just be as consistent as I can with that and just keep making visuals that I feel like are representative of who I am and that I wish I could see when I was younger.